Dave Nassie here, how you doing? So today what I thought we could do is we could talk about some fun country licks that are going to be functioning in the key of G. We're going to use a little bit of our open strings here, we're going to do some hybrid picking with our right hand, and we're going to use just some basic scale shapes today to uh, have some fun licks that are in the style of players like Brad Paisley, and of course some great players before him as well, and we're just going to have a good time today. Take it nice and easy, and let's just go ahead and get started. So with the G minor pentatonic scale, it looks just like this. that scale. We're going to use a little bit of the blue scale as well, so let's play that guy. And we're going to use this in octaves a little bit, so whatever we do here, in that particular portion of the scale, we're going to recreate on our lower octave, and that's actually going to include a little bit of another shape of the pentatonic scale, but we'll keep it easy right now and just go ahead and talk about the licks. So the first thing that you saw me play was a lick that looked just like this. And I'll play that one more time for you. So I really like this lick. The best way we can pull this off is we're going to start with a plucked note on our G. That's our high E string. We're going to pluck that guy. We're going to down pick this F and pull to my D. From there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my C with a downstroke and pluck my D with my middle finger. All in all, to be honest, that's a really good exercise unto itself, just to do that and kind of get comfortable with this hybrid picking. If it is something that is a little bit new for you, we're muting with our right hand, and I'm going to show a right hand angle here in a minute, but we're muting with our right hand to keep it nice and percussive and slightly dampen those strings. So from there, what do we got? We have, we're going to pick, of course, our D flat note. That's going to be our flat five. We're going to pick that with a downstroke. We're going to pick C with an upstroke, and we're going to pull off to B flat. And that's what we have so far. From there, what are we going to do? Let's see, we have this. We're going to flatten our third finger there. We're going to roll it down to pluck that C, go back to a fretted G note, Pluck B flat, hammer into more of our major third tonality, and then of course I can resume my G picked on the uh, root there. Again, a cool lick, we're taking it in pieces. From there, I'm going to pull off, and when I pull off to my index finger, that's going to be an F note. I'm going to pick my D note, and then I'm going to go back with a pluck note on that F. Right there we get, from there I'm going to pick that note with a downstroke, I'm going to pick this note with an upstroke, of course that's a C sharp, a little bit of the blues action with a D flat, pull that off to the C and slide down to my B flat, that'll give me this. And then in that lower octave, as we were saying, we're going to recreate all of this. That gives us this sound. And that's going to be lick number one for us today. So. Let me play that slow. So the second lick that we did today sounds like this. I love that phrase and we can break that guy up as well. So we're going to start with just isolating the A and the D strings. And what we do there is pretty cool. We're going to pick this with a downstroke, hammer, and I'm going to pluck that D, and I'm going to pick the D right after. I'm going to hit my F and I'm going to pull off to that D there. So we got a lot of D's going on in a row. Practice that again all by itself. It's a great little exercise. 
I'm gonna fret my D and then I'm gonna pluck it again. So we got more D's coming. <laughs> our next set of strings, again just using some of that minor pentatonic shape and just getting comfortable with some of the open notes. Pick my C note, I can hammer into my flat 5, I'm going to pluck my D, and I'm going to pick that E and hammer into the F, it's kind of a nice little motion there. I pluck that G, and when I come back, I oftentimes I'll pick this one and then pluck this one, or sometimes I might even hit this with a downstroke or an upstroke if it's more comfortable. Just like that, I can hit my C. I follow that C up with a nice weird B string open, and I'm going to pull that B flat to be the B note again and get that major tonality and resolve to the G. So in total, when we put that together slowly, Thanks for checking out my lesson, everybody. I really appreciate it. I'm going to be providing more regular lessons here on my YouTube channel, so Please check in from time to time and see what is new. Thank you so much and have a good one.